Hi, I'm Julie Johnson with Firebox Training. Today I'm going to show you how to tap into the Linux operating system and issue a few basic commands like creating directories, deleting directories, modifying file names, creating files, and such. Okay, so first of all, what you're going to need is a Linux server to tap into. And if you're running on Windows, uh, this might seem a little problematic, but it's really not a big deal. What you can do is use a provider, a cloud server provider, to utilize a cloud server on demand. One of those companies is called Rackspace. I'm not affiliated with them at all, but they're just a great company. Um, also out there is a company called GoGrid. Uh, both are pretty easy to work with, and so basically you just create an account and then once you get your account it asks you what flavor of Linux you want to use and uh, what I'm going to be using is uh, CentOS and I've actually already launched the server and once I launch it um, the, the hosting provider tells me what the IP address is so what I'm doing right here this is a program called Putty this is freeware. You can go out to the internet and find it. It just is a nice little interface to let us talk to our Linux server. So this is the server that I'm tapping into and once I'm finished with it I'm going to kill it off. So, um, so I just plug in my IP address and I just leave the port and everything else the same and I'll hit open and here it's asking me about the server's host key. It says it's not cached in the registry. All I need to do here is just say yes. I want to go ahead and accept that. Okay, so it's asking me now for my root login, so I'm going to type in root. And then as far as the password goes, the password was actually provided to me from my cloud hosting provider. Okay, so once I type that in, I am now looking at my command prompt right here. So if I want to see who I'm logged in as, I can always type in who am I and you'll see that I'm logged in as root. This just has to do with the display window and here is the timestamp. Okay, so next what I'm going to do is see where I am in the directory structure. So print working directory or PWD does that. So I'm in the slash root directory. I'm going to CD to the very top of the directory structure. So if I do a CD forward slash that takes me to the very top of the tree. And now to see what files exist there, I can do an ls. Okay, so if you're on Windows, the equivalent of this is dir, but in Unix and Linux, it's ls. So I have all these different directories here. How do I know whether it's a directory or a file? Well, it's actually color-coded on this system, but if I really wanted to make sure, I could do an ls-lowercase f. Actually, uppercase F, sorry about that. So if there's a slash at the end, it means that it's a directory. So I can tell that all of these are directories. Okay, so now I'm going to CD to the home directory. And now I want to see what's inside of the home directory. Nothing. Okay. If I type in CD and enter, it then takes me to my home directory. So every user on the system has their own home directory. Once again, PWD tells me where I am in there and I'm in root. If I do an ls, looks like my home directory is empty. One way of creating a file without actually opening it or modifying it is I can say touch and then the name of the file. Now I'll do an ls and you can see that it exists. Okay. If I wanted to create a directory, make dir does that. Now I'll do an ls dash capital F and you can see that here's a directory and here's a file. If I want to cd into my directory, cd my dir. Okay, so pwd tells me where I am. So here's the path to where I am. My file is existing under the root directory. If I wanted to move my file from there to my current directory, I can do the mv command, that stands for move, and I reference the original location. 
So the original location is one directory up, so double dot means go up a directory, slash my file, and the location where I want to place it in is my current directory, so I'll do a dot right there. So now, if I type in ls, you can see that my file exists right here. Okay, now I'm going to go up one directory, so cd space dot dot, just to verify, I'll do a pwd, and you can see I'm right here in root. If I do an ls, you can see that I have my dir. What if I wanted to see all of my files in this directory and, you know, everything else inside of it? So if I just want to uh, go in and, and see the whole tree structure under my dir. Well, one of the commands is find. If I say find my dir, it will list everything in there. So here's my directory and then the contents in there as well. What if I try to remove the directory? If I do rmdir, this is going to give me an error. Well, because I need to give an argument. rmdir, let me try to remove my directory and it tells me, hey, directory is not empty. So I actually need to either remove the contents and then delete it or if I want to remove a directory and all the contents inside of it recursively down the tree, I can do an rm dash rf. So r is recursive, f means force, and then my dir. Just to do an ls to make sure it's not there, you can see that it's empty. Okay, well I hope this has been a good informative introduction to working with Linux. Please visit our website at www.fireboxtraining.com.